and let it be consecrated Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless peace Take my hand and let them move At the impulse of thy love Take my feet and let them be Swift and Jesus, I want to tell you that you are the honored guest here in this place. And we ask, God, that you, the author of love, we would experience you in all in unique and different ways, and, and you would show up here and you leave this place different because of what we experience here today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Welcome to you all, whether you are watching online, Facebook Live, around the country. Well, you are here in Atworth, Georgia. You guys may be seated. What a special day to share together. And I want to thank you guys. This is probably a wonderful, uh, one of the most wonderful Father's Day gifts that I could ever have in light of tomorrow being Father's Day. And, uh, and this is a day to celebrate. So what a wonderful time to be together. We are gathered here today in the presence of God to join together in Ansley Joy and Jack, and the holy estate of matrimony. Marriage is an estate instituted by God, and it unites a man and a woman. Ansley Joy, your mom and I have been praying for you since you were conceived, that you would be a joy and a delight based on Luke 1, 14, just like John the Baptist was. And just like John the Baptist, he turned people's hearts back to God, and that's who you are. And we celebrate the joy. The joy doesn't come from you. It comes from God inside of you. And I'm so thankful. You are such a joy to our family and so many people. And I love you so, so much. And Jack, we celebrate you being here. It's time for you to take your bride that's been planned from eternity past. The very bride that God wants for you. For 23 years, I have been her spiritual leader. And now, my new son, I give the mantle to you. Courageously, lovingly, humbly, as a servant. To the both of you, God has many great adventures just awaiting for you. Be open, get ready, and buckle your seatbelts to see what He's going to do with your life. In Genesis, we read about the first wedding when God brought Adam to Eve, and God has brought Hansel Joy to you. And they experience aha, the oneness, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And you are here to celebrate that aha in Hebrew, that oneness together. Scripture tells us 
that we can learn a lot about marriage and love. And Jack and Anza Joy picked a passage of scripture for me to read from Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 through 12. And it says this, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? The one may over be, be overpowered. Two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And that third strand is Jesus holding your relationship together. It's time for us to celebrate communion. I'm gonna turn my microphone off for a moment and pray for my daughter and my son. Through the fiercest trial and storm, what heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, love of Christ, I stay. Christ alone. I asked 
Ansley, Joey, and Jack to send me separate emails and for them to share with one another why they love each other. And this is the first time they've heard the words. Here we go. This is from Ansley, Joey, to Jack. Why I love Jack Bjork. Jack is unafraid and unashamed to represent the name of Jesus. He cares deeply for others and serves others above himself. He is a leader and isn't afraid to stand up for what he believes in. He's intentional and goes out of his way to love people right where they are. He is self-disciplined and won't compromise on his convictions. He's goofy. And he's always there for me when I need someone to talk to about life. He knows the word of God and holds it close to his heart. He is very handsome and confident in who he is. He has a deep urgency to spread the gospel to everyone he interacts with. I love Jack about him being athletic and he's very competitive. He always tells me I'm beautiful. And there's nothing I can't do. We go on adventures together and I love how he surprises me with fun dates. And don't stop dating everybody. <laughs> he is a wonderful cook. Jack is my best friend and someone I can talk to about my faith deeply. I love that as a couple, we can be a better witness for Christ together than we were apart. I love you, Jackson, Charles, Bjork. You're the man of my dreams and everything that I've ever prayed for in a husband. Love, Ansley Joy. This is from Jack to Ansley Joy. Ansley Joy Peacock, you are the woman I had no idea could exist. Beyond dream or imagination, my prayers have been filled with pleas for you my whole life without even knowing it. I'm humbled to know that my life with you is a gift from our Heavenly Father, that receiving it from Him is to glorify Him, that marriage is to you is both a brand new joy and calling, that our lives are not our own, but redeemed and found in Jesus. The most attractive thing about you and always will be listen. Jesus in you, the hope of glory, the unfailing, the unfading one thing that will last. The only reason we stand here to be married is givers to one another, not takers. I love the way you give yourself up for others, considering them more highly than yourselves. I love the way you are steadfast, enduring, hardworking, and consistent, thoughtful, and respectful, a servant and a leader a listening ear and a forgiving friend, a lover and a loyal companion, a fighter for unity, an advocate for the broken, a loving and gentle spirit without compromise. AJ, you are my greatest earthly treasure. I choose you, I cherish you. I gladly give my life up for you. I love you for you. I don't have enough words to convey it. I think you've done a pretty good job so far. <laughs> Every moment we spend is a moment I wanna spend wooing your heart from here to heaven. <laughs> I feel like I'm crying too. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in for you. I love you, man. So join Peacock. We'll be Peacock for a little while longer. <laughs> it's time to do our, bow, our vows. Ansley Joy, will you have Jack to be your wedded husband as you love and comfort and honor and keep in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, as long as you both will live. Jack, will you have Ansley Joy to be your wedded wife, as you love and comfort and honor and keepness and sickness and in health, forsaking all others, as long as you both will live. The ring. The ring is a symbol of God's unashamed love to and from each spouse. That's never ending. And may that ring on your finger be a reminder. You're in it for life. Hansley Joy, place the ring on Jack's finger and repeat after me. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring, I be with Jack. Place the ring on Hansley Joy's finger and repeat after me. In token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring, I thee wed. 
Today is a day to celebrate a great love and the great love that God has for us all. As these two lives are joined together to God, now they join to one another. Ansley, Joy, and Jack's story is a story of a great romance, but there's a greater romance. At this altar, there's a picture of acceptance. The picture is this. God the Father turned to the Son, Jesus, and said, do you accept these broken, spiritually dead people? And Jesus said, I do. I love them. And Jesus then turned to Ansley Joy when she was a little girl and Jack when he was a boy and said, do you accept me for healing in eternal life and love that's forever? And they both said, I do. Now Jesus turns to us all and he asks us the question, do you accept me for healing and eternal life and the greatest of all romances? He is there for you. He loves you and he will meet you right where you are. Wherever you've been, wherever you think you're going, he loves you. The greatest of all romances. At this time, I'd like to pray the Levitical blessing over you. The prayer that Moses and Aaron prayed over the children of Israel. Let's pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And give you peace and give you peace, and give you peace forever. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you, and give you peace, and give you peace, and give you peace forever. Now for the pronouncement. We're landing the plane. You guys ready? For as much as you two have consented together in marriage and have shared this before God and all of us and have shared the giving and the receiving of the rings by the authority of vested in me, it is my pleasure to pronounce you man and wife. What God has brought together, let nothing or no one separate. Jack, you may now kiss your new bride. <laughs> That's enough, that's enough. <laughs> it is my pleasure to announce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Bjork.
journey of space and planet. Have a great day.